Water is life. It is the source of all the life on this planet. Life is dependent on water, from drinking to agriculture, sanitation and electricity generation. All is possible because of water. Out of many habitats of water, the most distinguished are wetlands. A land permanently or seasonally filled with salt or fresh water, or mix of both, are wetlands. Rains and flood waters help and affects wetlands. What differentiates a wetland is its unique hydric soil, vegetation, and aquatic plants, which makes it most biologically diverse in all ecosystems. There are four different types of wetlands, like swamps, bogs, marshes, fence and then there are the subtypes like mangrove forest, floodplains, mire, vernal pools, sink and many other. Wetlands are natural purifiers. They clean the air by absorbing CO2 emissions. They balance the flow of water by filtering wastewater. Wetlands have rich hydric soil that has minerals. It transforms dissolved nitrogen into nitrogen gas and breaks down suspended solids to neutralize harmful bacteria. Without wetlands, cities have to spend more money to treat water for their citizens. Floods are more devastating, storm surges from hurricanes can penetrate further inland. Wetland supports a diverse wildlife and marine life, aquatic birds and migratory birds, Reptiles big like alligator, crocodiles, to the smaller ones. Amphibians like frogs, mammals like capybara, beavers and others. Many fish species and other marine life lives in wetlands. There are 100,000 known species of wildlife and marine life live in wetlands. Wetlands are most affected by the climate change and face severe different threats from problems like commercializing wetlands for development, agriculture and tourism. Discharge of drainage into wetlands, extraction of minerals from wetlands and peats. Overfishing, pesticides, toxic industrial waste have ruined many ecologically and biologically rich wetlands. World Wetland Day occurs on 2nd of February every year, on the day when Wetland Convention was adopted in 1971. It is celebrated every year with a different theme. It was first celebrated in 1997. The primary goal of Wetland Day is to raise awareness about wetlands, why wetlands are essential for human livelihoods and for this planet. Ramsar Convention is international treaty made to solve concerns related to wetlands habitat loss, degradation and wetlands conservation. It promotes the importance of having wetlands. It also maintains a list of international wetland sites and it protects them with the help of five other organizations. Wetland supports life on Earth. They consume CO2 emissions, industrial wastes. They provide refuge to many bird species, wildlife species, plants, fish, and other reptiles. Together, they all form the cycle of life. 
Wetland helps in maintaining the temperature, water cycle, and precipitation. This present geological epoch of industrialization has led to many environmental crises. It has also affected our wetlands. Human activities around the globe has caused wetlands degradation. These fragile ecosystems need to be preserved ecologically as they are. The most important thing is that we should know more about the climate change. We should go outdoors and we should get connected with the nature to know the importance of the nature. These precious ecosystems are dying and we have to help protect them. Wetlands are essential for the life on Earth. We have to change our habits. We should reduce the use of plastic. In fact, we should quit plastics. We have to reduce our carbon footprint. We have to reduce our water footprint. These wonders of the Earth are dying. As said by Sir David Attenborough, this is our last chance. This is the tipping point. We have to look into it. What are we doing wrong? How can we stop it? How can we change it? This is our chance to do it, to save our wetlands.